Hello everyone, welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to see how we can install Angular on a Windows system. So let's get started. Before installing Angular directly, we need the prerequisite that is Node.js. So first, let's download Node.js. So open your web browser, just type in download Node.js. But on the first website, that is Node.js.org, just click on it. Just download Windows installer. For the time being, I'm saving it on desktop and you can just save it anywhere you would like just click on save it's been getting downloaded so yeah as we can see the file landed here so let's open the file double tap on it just click on next then i accept the terms condition then next if you wanted to change the location you can otherwise keep it as it is just click on next rest all default click on next next and install just click on yes and it will be getting installed. Just wait till the process finish. It will not take much time. So yeah, it got finished. Now let's open the CMD. Just type in CMD in the search box. Just open it. To check whether the Node.js has got installed correctly or not, just type in node minus minus version. Yeah, as you can see, uh, Node.js has been successfully installed. Now let's move on to the Angular installation. To install the Angular, just uh, open the PowerShell as we want it to be get installed globally. Just type in PowerShell, just type in npm. Uh, Angular means all the packages in Node.js or any other thing that are comes with npm only, like Node Package Manager, in that you get all the libraries and all the tools required. So just type in npm install. And you need to install it to global so minus g and just type in angular angular slash cli. Uh, do I miss did I miss something? Like yeah, npm install minus g angular cli. Just type in enter. So as you can see, it has started the download process. It will not take uh, much time. So yeah, for the time being, uh when it is being getting installed. So let's see what is Angular. Angular, so it is a JavaScript framework written in TypeScript. It is mainly used for single page web applications. So yeah, it got uh, installed. Now let's move on to creating the project. So to create the project, uh, let's type in ng new. It is a command to create the project, but uh, it is in root directory. So let's come on to the desktop first, change directory to desktop. Just create one directory here that is name of Angular. Angular, let's enter. It has created the Angular folder. Just change directory to Angular. Yeah, so just. See, now we are in the folder. Now let's create the Angular project. To create the Angular project, just type in ng new. This is a command used to create new project and just name your project. So I will name my project. Just type in enter. As you can see, uh, just type in no. You just go with enter, enter, just click on enter. As you can see, it is uh, creating the project. So I was talking about single page web applications. So the difference between single page web application and multi page web application is in single page web application, you click on the content. Uh, for example, you uh, in an website or in a, on a web page, you click on uh, some parts. So if you are using single page web application only, so that part of page only uh, gets refreshed, not, not the complete web page. And in multi page web application, you click on any part of that website. So complete web page reloads. So that's the main difference, like single page web applications and multi page web applications. The most efficient is single page web applications only because the website does not get uh, refreshed. User stays on that page only and whatever user request at that time only the request gets served. So as you can see, the project has been successfully created. Now let's open this project. To open this project, you can directly uh, type in your code dot otherwise the best way i can tell you is it will just open vs code if you have vs code downloaded it will just take you over here it's just saying it has been minimized let me take it to actual size 
you can do this way or you can directly click on here and just open uh, more options show more options and here from here open open in visual studio or open in uh, any here you can get like uh, sublime text or the vs code whatever code editor you have just open the project there so i have opened my project here just uh, just click on terminal and as we are in the project directory the project has been created let's look for the project so these are the projects file that has been created by the angular so our main content is in this source app and the app.html file this is the app now let's run this to run this we just have to type it ng serve and followed by dash dash open so it will directly open the angular project in the browser so just hit enter uh, this command is not available outside a workspace, but we are inside the workspace. So just a second, what I have to do is just like this one second, new terminal. We are in the Angular project. Okay, sorry. So we have to change the directory to my project, change directory, and now we have to run this ng serve dash dash open. So yeah, first time it takes some time and directly it will shoot the website. Just see, it will just do all the checkings on all. And once it is done, we can see our uh, project live, live in the sense on the localhost. See, localhost 4200, my project app is running. This was the name that we have given to our project. As you can see, now let's make small changes to it. We just come in this app component.html. Just create your div. Div. Let's say we have created the div. Just enter hello world program to it. Just type h1. Hello world. And yeah, as you can see, this see here. Hello world is being getting reflected here. Now let's make some more vari variations to it. Enter, enter, enter. Four. Let's change it to. Let's change it. Sorry. Let's change it to H2. H2. And this here, change it to H3 and H3. H4 to H4. And just look for the changes. As you can see, we got. So this is the single page web application that has been loaded. So this, this was all about Angular project. So in this tutorial, we saw how we can uh, install and download Angular on a Windows system. Firstly, we started with uh, installing Node.js. That is the prerequisite to run Angular. And in that, we just downloaded Angular. And we just did small changes to the project. And we saw how to create the project and how to run the project. So yeah, here comes to the end of this tutorial. Thank you.